Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add pagination for your user table using Laravel and Vue.js. So, as promised, we are going to use the Laravel view pagination package for this uh, project. Uh, if you want to install this one, all you need to do is either you are going to use Yarn or NPM. So, I am going to use Yarn to install this package for. Uh, I am going to use NPM to install this package for our application. So, I will open terminal here and pasting the code. It is going to take a few seconds to install. It is done now. If I close the terminal, if you see here we have the Laravel view pagination version 2.1.0. So when you add it in your dev dependency, you can easily use it in your uh, app.js here. So what I am going to do, I am going to go here we are going to register it as a global component. You know, if you register something as global component, you can use it anywhere in your application. So I will come here. These are some of the packages we have already registered. So I will paste it here. Now we are using the view.component and we pass the name for our component. Then we say require Laravel view pagination. If you check out uh, the name, we do not have the same like Laravel view in this directory. How it is going to detect this one? This name is going to be the exact name we put in the dev dependency here, the Laravel view pagination. That's why we can have access to that one here. So if I save this one and I am running the npm run wash in the background, it is going to compile. Now we have access to pagination in our, in our application. So all we need to do is just copy this one. As I said, the good thing about these uh, packages is going to add just the pagination. It is not going to do a lot of extra stuff for your application. We can add more things if we need by our own. So here is our user table. If I come all the way down, it is going to the card body will finish here. In Bootstrap 4, you have a class called card footer. It's going to give you a footer here. So and I will paste the pagination for the data, of course. You have user and users. If I come all the way down here, here is the array of user. You know wh where the user come? When this component is loaded, it is going to call the load user function and the load user function is going to take all the users from this the HTTP request that we are going to send. It is going to take all this information and it will store it in the user object here. So if I come here, Mm, yeah here is the user and it is going to store it here and that way we can pass it the data as users here if you are going to use the same style that they are going to use and then when they say that if someone click on this one for the pagination it is going to call a function called get result so we must have you know whenever we have an add sign in the Vue.js you know this is going to be an event so this is an event a custom event they say pagination change page and this is going to call a function called get result so I will come here in the methods and we will write the function here what you can do is you can go to the documentation again you can take the code from the documentation it is going to be exactly the same but I will explain how it is going to work Here is the code get result. Basically, this is going to check that what is the current page. By default, it is equal to one, and it is going to send the HTTP request to the server with a parameter called page. It is going to be by default in Laravel. So what we are going to send, we are going to send a request to the API slash user, and then we pass the uh, option, the extra parameter, the page, and we put the number page here. This numbering will be automatically set by the package we have added. Then what it is going to do is it is going to get the response or get all the data and it should uh, store new data in our object here. Whenever we click on the, on the first page, second page and third page, it is going to uh, update our data and it is going to display it in our table. So this is basically all you need to do for now. So if I save it and let's go to the documentation and let's see what else they want they don't need any other uh, thing but if you are going to add the uh, previous and next button you can use this style 
So if I come to my application, let's refresh the page and see how, if it is working. It is going to give us an error, so I will solve the error for you. Because uh, for me it was giving the error and in the GitHub repo, someone asked the same error, but most of people could not find how to solve the problem. So I will show you how this is going to work. And it is not displaying the component firstly. If I inspect element, we have three errors, so I will just show you what are the errors. The error show that the props data expect object it got an array. What is the data? If I come here, we know that here is the data props and it is when we pass the user, the data of the user is an array. So what this is ex expecting, they are expecting an object. To show you how it is going to work, if I go to the view tab here, uh, okay, I will open the user here and we have pagination if i click on the pagination as you can see the data is equal to array in the same way in the user if i come here this is users and as you can see the data type is equal to array that's why it is going to say that we expect you to give us an object not an array that's why it is giving us an error so the way you solve this problem is if I come to the repo here, what I was uh, doing wrong in the first place was I was giving like the initial value of data, uh, I was giving the bracket and it should be uh, this type of bracket. So what I did, I gave, just give an answer here and the data should be like this one. It should not be like the square bracket, it should give us the other, the big one, the, this bracket. So even if I come here, let's check our data. The user and this is the sign of object of course when you are using this parameter this uh, bracket it is sign of object and when you use the square bracket this is sign of array for us this is an object but it's still it is giving us an error because in the first time when you know when the when we uh, reload our page it is going to call the function load user the load user is going to check either the okay this is the check for the authentication and then it is going what it is going to do is it is going to say that we take the data and then we pass the data we say data dot data whenever you say data dot data it is going to go inside the object and it is going to mm, take the array and store that in the user this is the wrong place here so we will remove it here in the load user now this data is going to be an object and we have we can store that in our user object if i save it for now let's refresh our page it still we should give uh, it should give us an error but i will fix it for you so we refresh the page and i did hard reload and now we have a different type of user char at this is a common error in vue.js whenever you get this error you will uh, okay let me just show you firstly the user now the user uh, the type is equal to object and now we have all the page information here this is fixed but this whenever you get this error the char at make sure that whenever you use uh, the user in the table because we remove data in the when we load it all we can do is we can write it here now we pass an array of information to the for each loop here if you save it this time and coming here refresh the page this this time it should work just fine so let's see we do not get any error so i will close this now we do not have the pagination this is because we uh, if if i go here in our user controller you can see in our index we say give us 20 records 20 records is too much so i will give it let's say five user if i say five user Coming here, now because we do not have uh, 20 record, that's why it is not showing the pagination. This time if I refresh it, it should display the pagination for us. Yes, it is going to display the pagination. If I go to the second page, it is not going to refresh the page, but it is going to send an HTTP request to the server, getting the new information and updating our table. Going to page three, we have one record here back to page one maybe previous page and the other page this is how you can add pagination to your application 
make sure if you got the error if you got something similar to that one uh, make sure you are going to pass an object and make sure you are going to give us an object uh, not an array so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and that was it for this video and i i i know that there are so many things remaining for our application to add but if you have any suggestion feel free to give us a comment and i will continue recording the next videos thank you for watching